The California Highway Patrol investigated allegations that UC Santa Barbara Chancellor Henry T. Yang drove a car that hit a student skateboarding through a campus crosswalk but ultimately said it could not determine what happened and recommended no charges, according to documents and interviews. The student, who suffered minor injuries, identified the Chancellor as the driver. But UC Santa Barbara denied Tuesday that Yang's car hit the student. In a statement, the university cited the CHP report saying the investigating officer found no physical evidence on the Chancellor's car of damage or contact that would indicate a collision had occurred. The CHP could not substantiate the hit-and-run allegations or the cause of the collision, citing the lack of independent witnesses, physical evidence on the car, video surveillance and some inconsistencies in statements by the student, the report said. This was not a hit and run, the university s. The chancellor and his wife were surprised to learn of the allegations and they have always maintained that their vehicle did not collide with anyone. The university and the chancellor took the allegations of this skateboarder seriously. CHP officer John Gutierrez said his office is not recommending any charges to the district attorney's office since it was unable to substantiate a crime that was committed by any university staff. The UC Santa Barbara statement about Yang's involvement in the investigation came only after the Times emailed Yang and the UC office of the president on Tuesday, seeking comment and disclosing that a copy of the law enforcement report detailing the investigation had been obtained. Earlier Tuesday the university had emailed the statement, the office of the president is aware of the investigation, but is not able to comment on any specific details involving university employees. Yang, 81, has led UC Santa Barbara since 1994, the second longest serving chancellor in UC history. He had refused to directly speak to investigators about the May 16 incident in which a student alleged that he was struck by the front of the car and rolled across the hood, injuring his right hip and left foot, the CHP report said. The student fell to the ground, stood up and got a clear look at the driver and female passenger. The woman made hand motions toward the student, but the car's occupants made no effort to see if he was hurt, then left the scene, the student told officers. State law requires drivers of vehicles involved in collisions that result in injuries to stop, give reasonable assistance to the person struck and report the incident to law enforcement within 24 hours. <laughs>